I'm glad I fucking hit record after that. <laughs> yeah, he's um he's just gonna be connected in badly because he's fucking internet shit. A radio check. It can be nice sometimes. Good. I have no doubt about that. It's just very rare that we see it. I'm gonna need some more bolts if anyone knows where they are. Okay, nice. Your ass. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! What a burn. No, fucking, he just walks up to us, he's just like, I could be nice sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> Your ass is grass, mister. I'm a lawnmower. Uh, take one of each. Oh, fucking starting this evening off strong with lots of lag. That's probably just because everybody's loading in under it. No, nah, my fucking computer hard drive's going, I believe. Oh. Yeah, big sad. Sad indeed. So what should I take anyway? Um, <laughs> just take, you know, generic rifles. Um, don't take as many grenades as you don't need them. Oh, We're not going to be firing them into towns and cities and things like that, so. Um... Right. There's Refreshing. No but don't get me wrong, you can still take some. Just not fucking 50 odd. Because <clears throat> you will need you, you will need space in your bag as well. Oh boy. Because you're going to be carrying um, what's known as a Velen, which is the um, anti-mine system. Oh, fuck you. Okay, um, so we're not doing the old other loading type of... I can, like, take it now, so I know nice. how much space I got. Uh, no, we're gonna do it later. So we're going for a load of waffle first, and then we'll go into picking up the villains and shit. Well, I guess I'm just have happy fucking guess to make them. Yeah, just have to take, so take some things that you're happy to drop, like grenades or something, and I'll just pick them up. No, Take keep your barrow. Cable ties as well. Take, Take your fucking night vision as well. Wait, what the fuck is. No, it's not my night. I was gonna say. I thought that was my night vision. <sighs> Are you there? God damn it. What? Uh, Whoa. Where do you see the uh, like key bindings to drop your backpack? <laughs> Um, Hello, Jojo. One, this is one zero. Configure over. controls. Oh, Charlie. Okay. Over. Uh, configure add-ons. Uh, three okay. CB, over. and then it's like the seventh one down. Nice. One zero, Charlie. Okay, over. Try one zero. And, like, okay. Zoom in. Okay. Jojo, like, one. Can I have one? I see your weapon up and, and try and zoom really into the the big scope, right? Yeah, you can't. No, you can, but the, no, no, no. Not zoom in, but do you see? Like, we're looking through your scope, not your, um, um, Not the red dot, the actual vertical. magnification, yeah. yeah. The actual magnification. Are the size for you black as well? No, they're normal for me. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Oh, I need to go and see what's his name. So Okay, uh, you'd be given the basic brief, you know the overall plan. Um, so it's basically be me a little bit of talk, scenarios, me a little bit of talk, scenarios, until we get into the Valen. The Valen range is just over there. Um, I'm hoping you'll have one Zeusa per corridor, and it'll be one section per corridor. And basically it'll send bots through to mine sweep. Mm -hmm. um, you are guys have to either help me out or recall what we did last time we did this with the markings, otherwise I'm just going to make up a system, we'll go with it. So, if I remember correctly, it was, let's say you're a mine, it was a... Red X there, 
red X there with like a blue X at the front to indicate where it was from that position. And then it's like every couple of meters another uh, red X, X on the way. So uh, blue, blue X's are um, cleared path and the red X is red X triangle towards the mine. <clears throat> okay, so we'll go blue X, clear path, and then we'll do to mark IEDs, it'll be red X, red X with a red triangle in the middle pointing towards IED. Is that good? So a red red triangle uh, made of X's and then you know wait, the wait, tip wait. of the triangle would be where it's, it's going. It's going to be part of the lesson, right? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's okay. uh, what we did so, last year, which you wasn't here for. I was. Yeah. So. Oh, were you? But I, I don't remember all of it. Exactly. I mean, like, I can't really record myself, so we'll just we'll see what happens later on, and obviously we'll adapt from whoever come over to see fit. Cool. Um, so, like I said, there's going to be some little scenarios. There'll be three bods. I'm even going to draw three from each section at a time, or I'll grab one from each section and throw them in while the rest observe. Uh, there is bunkers about, so that's basically going to be where the rest of the team will be sitting. Hopefully, safe. Um, <laughs> box of volumes over there. There's like basically every variant of volume that we have mm. in that box. So just you know. Yeah, we'll eat them later. Um, now, I can neither confirm nor deny if there's going to be any live fire in this, so uh, if your bods do get shot during a scenario, uh, then just call it out on to net and I'll get them zoo sealed. Uh, cool. These will be more teachy scenarios, as it were, like illustrating a point. Uh, mm -hmm. Is there any questions before we progress forward? Uh, no. Not for me. Okay. <clears throat> uh, I'm hoping this is going to go okay, because I lost my, my actual lesson from the last year I did it. I had to remake this all in oh, the hours. Um, so if it's a bit patchy and, or if for whatever reason it's not flowing just right, then bear with and give me those feedbacks during the debrief. Uh, I'm just looking past well, this. I think we are basically all right. Um, hello, oh, this cool, is one so there. I'm a wine box. Oh, he's very cool. Where are you? One zero, um, I'll be surely progressing with the first phase of the lesson. Um, are you ready with the first couple of scenarios for set one, Ever? <coughs> Have we got the ammo boxes around here as well? Uh, one zero, really so that, um, before we progress with that, I'll raid it into you, just make sure we're in the right location for all these, and then I'll get back to you then, Ever. Okay, is everyone ready to go? Uh, yeah. Should be fine. We'll 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 guide load them in. I am pretty good. Yeah, I should be good. Uh, what the fuck did that we do? The fact that we're in direct range is funny. Uh, he's, direct? he's talking. Yeah, no, he's talking in local. Not, no, no, no. He's not on global. No, he's not on global. He's in local. That's why he said direct. That's the mind. I you probably not going to shoot too much. That, so. oh, good. Uh, we'll just use groups. No, you, the code you look for is uh, global and blue four. Or side, shall I say. That's local. Mm, that's, so that's, that's within not. that's within a uh, 50 meter year distance or 100 meter distance, um, the direct. Right, let's so show the issue. building where there's probably some bullet holes left from the guac. <laughs> 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 Strong wind. Right, follow one one two when they pass by. <clears throat> and feel free to put your berets on your head. Hello, Josh. I one. This is one zero. Whoever's lead section be on my left, mid section in front, and then oh, no last section on my right. Out. Amateur. That's why you don't drop yours, you look like a tit. Right, <laughs> on this side. Right, fucking get it in a bit yeah. closer, we'll all play some spittle, hold on. I think spittle will enjoy that though, so I'd watch out. Exactly. I don't bite hard. <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear you. Don't let's rip out. Hello. <laughs> Love it, get back. Put yourself on talking as well, please, spittle. Okay. Is he no, he's no, still no. quiet. Can't hear you. Oh, Go on, Yellen. There we go. Everyone hear me now? Yes. 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 There yes. We go. A bit. Yeah. Okay, so mm. I put myself on yelling at myself on Whisper instead. Happy days. Right. Everyone put your weapons on safe because I do not want to hear a no. Wait, one. One zero, send over. Stop clicking it. Right, fucking up to no. Stop cycling. 
<laughs> All right. Cease. Two times no. that would be normal, and then the Cease. last one was bad. Money is. Oh, fucking arrest everyone so you can stand Shut here up. quietly. <laughs> this is funny. Once are, it's just basically just using the checkpoint as the training tool. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Right. As I was saying, weapons on safety, so that way I don't want to hear fucking stop doing that. I don't want to hear anyone say it was the wind blowing their bloody rifle. Excuse strong me. wind. Yes, the strong wind. A <laughs> strong wind blew her over. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so listen. Up. So we're going to cover today in three segments. We've got LOAC, which is the Law of Armed Conflict. Um, obviously, we're now transitioning into our com um, counterinsurgency, prepping for campaign. Um, so contingency from counterinsurgency. We'll then do some Valen training with some explosives, so don't blow yourselves up. And then last part will be some civvy interaction uh, events and scenarios going on at the end. Uh, there's going to be some of those mixed in as well with this. So, I'll start off. Does anyone here remember what LOAC is? What it stands for? Law really no of Armed Conflict. There you go. Something the American really doesn't understand. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you need a suggestion? Yes. So basically, this is forms our morals on the battlefield. So, what does this mean? So, LOAC basically governs how you operate in the field. Anything against LOAC is basically a war crime. Um, and obviously you don't want to be branded a war, cry uh, a war criminal in the field, because that would be bad. <coughs> so, so for coin, <laughs> it's particularly vital, because again, we're looking at civilian opinion, media opinion, and the government opinion, which we have in the past had turned against us. So watch what you fire at. Um, obviously this eventually can result to us being heckled by civilians, rocks thrown at us, <laughs> sandals thrown at us to some people. Does not also mean you have to retaliate with firing uh, shots. Uh, also, another example is respecting the culture. So, don't shoot goats as it could be termed as an insult. So, the Zeus, the, keep in mind, the Zeusers can twist this and make this into anything they see fit. It could be they, they these people worship a sheep for whatever reason. Okay. So, how is Loak applied? So, basically, imagine the Loak. Gone for a blonde, kind. Yeah. Uh, basically, imagine LOAC as the bubble which you can operate. It's a very large bubble, and that governs anything inside of that is lawful. The rules of engagement, which is our ROE, so our Card Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie, those are ma basically meant to constrain that bubble of what we can do <coughs> after that. So, rules of engagement. Who here can name me Card Charlie? This is worrying and concerning. Yes, I can name card Charlie. Come on, guys. You know what to do. Come on. <laughs> Gates is not right, here. I don't have my wiki out. Yeah. Anyone for one, two? Jesus fucking. I'll be Christ. fucking Peter. ashamed if the American knows more about rules of engagement than you as well. Come on. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I have to know what I can get away with. <clears throat> okay, anyone from one, three? Uh, return fire when fired upon. That is, yes. Uh, what's a key phrase there of um, if you're being engaged, you still must w do what to the target? PID. Yes, you must PID the target. So, Car Charlie, only fire on PID targets that are engaging you. So, Chunli, this is a nice one for you. What can you do with explosives? Uh, let's see. Assuming it's not in an urban environment, you're allowed to go around it. Assuming it's in an urban environment, I think ROE dictates we need to evacuate the immediate area and fucking get EOD to deal with it. What was that? That no, was a no, town going bang. Uh, sorry, uh, let me rephrase. I'm on about using explosives in an offensive <coughs> manner being us. But I'll just cover that. So basically, explosives against structures oh. are prohibited, but they can be authorized by myself or a higher chain of command, so such as Mikhail, me, Lewis. Okay. However, before you engage anyone, if they are not shooting at you, what must you do? Wiki Gates? You have to PID. We already sure mentioned they're... that, you disconnected just as I said that. Oh, okay. Which card? Card Charlie. Uh, you have to make sure that they're engaging you? Yes, we've already, we just covered that, you disconnected. But anyway, um, basically challenges must be given, so it's um, British Army, stop or I fire, or basically something along those lines of giving them a warning before you engage. Now, obviously, if they are shooting at you, you don't need to provide that. 
Okay, we'll move on to Card Bravo. Can anyone... Okay, I'm just going to say this now. Does anyone else know Card Alpha or Card Bravo? I'll just battle through them. Jesus Christ. Alpha should be I the mean, fucking easiest one, come on. Yeah. Alphas kill everyone and everything? Yeah, alphas shoot anything yeah, that moves that's that still isn't not friendly. How it works. Yeah, that's well, still alphas, not how that works. Alphas Alpha. kill enemy bravos. Bravo kill enemies is, is don't fire shoot. unless I had a pump. No, that's card no, Charlie. That's Bravo is PID unless I had a pump. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, so I'll just battle through the gun. So card Bravo, authorised to engage POD targets. Buildings with suspected insurgents may be entered. Destruction of buildings is authorised if the assault is too, cost, uh, too costly. And obviously, challenges must still be given prior to escalation. So, Alpha. PID targets may be engaged on site. Uh, buildings can be used as a fighting position. So that's us basically occupying somebody else's home. Uh, use of explosives is authorised, so you don't have to ask... Um, obviously, you have to ask your IC for use of explosives, but you don't have to get it from a higher authority. And challenges are not needed, as long as, obviously, you are PIDing your targets. Any questions about the ROE? Key phrases in there is PID and are you being engaged? If anyone's got any questions or they don't, they're not sure, refer to your ICs, because they should know it. Okay. Right, so the next topic is self-defense. This is one of the golden rules of what we're doing here. So you've got your LOAC, which is the law of armed conflict, what you can and can't do. We'll roll into a bit more specifics later. Um, you've then got your ROE, which dictates, again, constricts what you can do. But your self-defense is something that, again, will never change by Petley. So, you may use as much force, which is reasonable, to defend yourself or another person. The key phrase here is, is there a threat, immediate threat to human life? If the answer is yes, you may engage, no matter what. So if you see someone point a weapon at a civilian, and you honestly believe they're about to shoot them, you may engage. That's the key phrase there. So, when you may use it, like I just said, imminent threat, you have an honest belief that there's something going to happen, so that's situational awareness, that's for instance if you've been told that there's insurgents in the area, they like to do that kind of thing local threats, again is local intelligence such as you know there's vehicle IEDs happening in the area, and your own personal training on how to react, so such as you're not just a green um, bloody recruit come on to coin, and you just got start shooting willy nilly, you're going to know via experience what to do and again, your circumstances, what are you doing, basically. So if you're on your own, that's going to be more serious. You might react differently as opposed to being with somebody else. So does that self-defense make sense? Does everyone know, understand what I mean by the key phrase? I've got one question. Yes, Hendrix? When you're talking about someone uh, is going to open fire on civilians, I assume that only counts for enemies, or how would one react to, for example friendly is going AWOL and shooting civilians. Uh, then they're considered a, a threat to human life. So you can still shoot them then? Yes. Jesus However, Christ. if I see anyone start shooting their boss, again, you will be punished if your determination of self-defense is not worthy. And, uh, and again, this unit is not about PvP against each other, unless it's specified. Um, now, 90% of the time, it is going to be enemies uh, shooting civilians. We should never do that, because that's not within our law of armed conflict. We should never be pointing our weapons at civilians at all, unless we're meaning to detain them and, uh, say, issue a threat to get down on the ground, because we don't know what they are before they're secured. Um, and obviously we cannot engage with lethal force. Any questions before we go on to yeah. scenarios? Yes. Um, so, um, in our armed forces, it's when you're talking to, to civil about civilians it's ask tell make is it applicable here so for example in the make part you would point your weapon to make them move away from your position or from your you know um say roadblock or whatever sounds kind of like what we would do yeah yeah you'd, you'd ask them to back up if they don't then that's when you can start getting a little bit more leery mm -hmm. yeah I like that acronym, uh, Ask, Tell, Make. We'll go with that. I've not heard that previously before, but I like that. Sure, we've used that before, Phil. <laughs> yeah, we've, we've definitely used it, but we've never used the that phrasing of Ask, Tell, Make. We've done it, but we just we never sure? phrased it that way. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much our standard procedure as is, but, yeah, I like the way you phrase that. Um, again, we should never, ever be firing upon civilians. If 
for example, I know one particular one is if they're running about, I would hope that Zeusa would understand that to put his hands up or at least stop when he's having a weapon point and be realistic. If, however, they're just pegging it, then you're not going to chase after them. Because right? obviously we can't rubby tackle these people. So we have to operate within our own limited bounds here in armor. So yeah, basically ask them, tell them to do it, and then make them do it by uh, raising your weapon and giving them the order, basically. Um, any further questions? Are you going to go for the yeah. warning shot as well? Or are we, we don't do warning shots. Not doing it, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, one question. Oh, here's a question. Uh, hold on, Hendrix asks first, yeah? yeah? When we can't interact with civilians, can we... Um, like, then they're not controlled by Zeus, can we then assume and let them just do their own thing? Let yes, them go if, AWOL? If, they, if you definitely know they're not a Zeuser, and they are just running about in front of you, um, generally speaking, leave them alone. If they are causing you a serious hassle, then just arrest them. Obviously, okay. do not use any physical force against them. Just basically arrest them, put them to the side, and then release them later, or just move them off to somewhere else and then re-release them. Because AI can be just in the way and a bit fucky. But otherwise, nine times out of ten, leave them be. Okay. Right. Shall we? Uh, are wounding shots applicable at all? No. I don't think we've gone over that. Okay. So it's just no. shoot to kill. Okay. Basically, yes. You either present warnings to them and tell them to do something, then detain them, and then if they're a threat to human life, then you can engage with lethal force. Would it be okay, right to say in, in a kind of scenario, if we were using lethal force, but it did result in a wound, we would then administer aid and arrest rather than kill? Yes, if somebody is injured, then we are to put, offer first aid. Even if it's um, not, uh, enemy combatant? Yes, even enemy combatant. Um, Don't want a marine air situation. To, I will come on to different types of people after these set of scenarios we're going to do. Will then go through who's protected and who's not protected. So in that instance, what Mikhail was saying about enemy combatants, if they are incapacitated, they are then protected underneath the law of armed conflict. If they're still fighting, then they're not protected, and then you can still kill them. Basically, Does that makes sense. Mikhail, to answer your question. Yep. Cool. Oh, wait. Any further questions? Even unlawful me? combatants. What do you mean? I mean, uh, individuals who aren't fighting with a uniform or a flag or any identifying markers. So those kinds of people combatants. aren't protected. Yeah, uh, that's true, but they're not the protected by Geneva Oh, fair enough. Yeah. A golden rule here as well is the enemy might not obey the law of armed conflict, but we still have to. Right, cool. Also, there's a recruit or somebody there running. There's an AR. Uh, is you want me to go get him? to move off to scenarios? Any further questions? Lovely. Okay. Uh, what's going to happen is sections move off in reverse or that order, so one, three, move off first. Take us to the front gate, please. Uh, no, don't bother trying to go right so you can get them. Cool. Head up. Head over front gate. Hard hats hat on, let's Hello, Zeus. This is uh, literally over to where the uh, vehicles are and then take a left. So cool. down the road in front of the vehicles. Hello, Charge I one this is one zero, as usual, right my position, form the Heronburn in your sections. Out. Uh, yeah, we'll do it here, up against There's the building. One, <coughs> my left. Damn it. Me? Me? Okay, just get to their, their right, mate, form a Heronburn. I we're going to do it along the road under this AO. No, that'd be stupid, mate. Don't want to be in the road. No one using it. I mean, that's a lie, because FSG are driving down it. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh, one, one, keep the hold please. Oh, they moved. Okay, so what's gonna happen here, these are a whole set of scenarios. These are more teaching scenarios. Um, so what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna draw three people, either one from each section, or just three from each section and move. Four fair ones. Uh, basically, this is the local situation. Uh, we are guarding this checkpoint, front of the airfield. There is a local threat of vehicle IEDs. One of the vehicle IEDs hits as well to the southwestern checkpoint. So you know there's a likely threat here. 
So the people on the station, there'll be one person up front interacting, and there'll be huge client support. The lead person is to basically um, approach the vehicle, order them to stop, and then basically just see them through, make sure they're all right, that they're complying. If they are not approaching within decent speed or procedure, you would have follow this procedure. You basically raise your weapon up, go British Army, stop, or I fire. If they then keep approaching, put two rounds into the vehicle's engine, and then obviously you know there's a local threat of IED, so that way you shout bomb, and then you put two rounds into the driver. Does that make sense? If they do not stop in that process. If they do not stop, yes. If they're still proceeding. Any questions? Lovely. Uh, who's here? Uh, we'll have one, two. We'll have Jammer, Fader, and Banch. Okay, so obviously remember for all this interaction, make sure you aren't yelling so the civvies can actually hear you. We'll have Jammer and Banch as support. Fader, you can interact at the front. So push yourself down to the checkpoint and take up positions. Yeah. Sections follow on. We'll have one three in the left tower, one two, and one one in the right tower. Swap? Yeah, He's gonna have to do it at some point. We'll swap, please. <laughs> <laughs> right. right Jammer, get on, get on the uh, top uh, side of the tower. Ah, yeah. uh, it didn't work. I don't want to use the stairs. It's got the ladder like another person. Nah, fuck it. Mm -hmm. I just another point to make here, guys. This is not a full checkpoint procedure. This is based just to orchestrate the scenario. <laughs> Come on, go up. Fuck it. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Everyone in the tower clear fader. Lovely. Alright, crouch down if you're in the tower. Helmets on, chaps. No shit. You need another um. Type in the Merlin situation. Uh, maybe. We'll soon see. Go to bomb, shoot him. He's got droids, fuck him up. Oh, they got there to shoot the guy. No. <laughs> hmm. I mean, I'm, I don't have my behavior strikes anymore, so. You're, You're fucking getting back quickly with that attitude. You're a good boy. Yep. Uh, the cell phase can uh, bring them through. Can barely fucking hear it with the. Uh, so we're not doing any complete checks. Right. How many inches will the cold weapon? I mean, only a couple. It's like pushing rope. Oh, be careful there, Spittle. Mm, I know. <laughs> oh, oh, <shit>. oh wow. <laughs> Alright, what the fuck? Oh, flight are coming back. Uniform Do they know that helicopters can fly? That kind of flying. No, they're so I mean, how else are they meant to get oh, transported cheaper. around? Yeah. You know, we just fly places, right? <laughs> I mean, Wait, is here no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's for you. Ah, uh, I got dunked on. Uh, just ask Fader to speed as long as you do to get through here. Fader, can you rush it up a bit? Point and laugh at me. Hunger. He's doing everything right, by the way, so it's, it's not the purpose of the You're doing everything it. right, just. Nothing, nothing hurt. Thank you. Well, will it 
CTT license. Zero six one 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 three. There's a guy one three zero. <laughs> distance about like what nine hundred meters. Mm -hmm. Is he doing anything? He's just fucking staring with his little hijab. It's probably nothing. Can I pop him? No. no. You aren't to pop anything. Bomba. You can really have time to <laughs> stop that one. Can somebody shoot him. Oh, oh well. I mean. We invest in only the prime barriers oh. of defensive okay. positions. Mm -hmm. so, this is right. so you can see here how these can sometimes come in pretty quick. Now obviously if this was a proper yeah. checkpoint, we'd have like lots of barriers going down and then you could physically see how quick that one was coming in. Now it's a bit deceptive with the hill, but he was coming quite quick. So yeah. say that as soon as you see one guy come around that corner really quickly, it's immediate weapons way uh, yeah. Weapons yeah. raised, and then give the order. Always give the order to be weapons raised. Like it's obviously Jimmy, a stupid What's up, Huck? And then <laughs> maybe two an engine block, and then kill the person. Uh, it's a little bit slow, but it will be good. Everyone see the point, though, what's happening here? Oh, yeah, mate. Scenario. Hello, Zeus is 1 0. You can refresh the page, and we'll move on to the next scenario. Uh, 1 0. Request what stuck. position is of the next night over? Not much. Gotta uh, get back on the tower. No, just fucking stay there if you want to listen better. Because you're going to be doing this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, right, chaps, everyone down. Why don't you go up? up. Okay. Yeah. Um, jump you know, up. Fado, uh, Fado, do you want to start one? Yeah, one. Sit down. Carrying bomb invader. Welcome drones. Right, rest of you chaps down here. Right, go down to the front of the checkpoint. Let's go to the checkpoint. Ah, oh, that's boring. That works. Alright, 1-3, it's going to be your turn now. So chaps, for this one, remember what I said about self-defense and imminent threat. Right? Underwood, you want to designate three people? Volunteer or voluntold? Welcome back. Look I'm, told, I'm not hearing, so Lancaster, Lovex, Scrapper, uh -huh. you're up. What the fuck? Fuck me. Okay, no, this mean, is the scenario. You're gonna get fucked, uh, mate. We are providing, <laughs> everyone listen it. we're providing security for a local market. And it's basically civilians that's gonna be interacting and buying goods. So, Steve Bob, proceed down that road and to the market. Oh. Right, let's actually see where we should go. Are we all going on the roofs? Fucking ambush time. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the front two, the, the last one can be alright. <laughs> uh, yeah, mate. Tell them to take a right when they get to the junction, and then the market is just over there. Righto. When you get to the T junction, turn right, chaps. Are we following on? Yeah, follow on. I'm just under the mountain, so. Don't worry about sprinting. It's a fucking road, get up. I mean, they can walk like the rest of them, but they don't actually need to walk. Oh, there's two privileges, Throck. I'm the only one initially that found out you wanted it. Are they walking up the um, checkpoint or up the market as well? They can walk through the market, yes. Cool. Right, everyone put yourself along. Right, when you get down the road a little bit, there'll be a market on the right side. Start walking through it. More than fine. Everyone, right, basically, take a knee. Yeah. 
Yeah, where well, you want to turn right and come towards us. I got it. Oh, no, you don't. Okay. Okay, now we're going to practice fire control orders. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Now walk, Lovek. Is that Lovek? Wait. I think he's buying rice from each of the fucking stores. <laughs> Give this no. man a fucking strike. Nice. On the face. We're selling fucking cheap cigarettes. Yeah. <laughs> we got a... Who has what it be? Control C, mate. There we go. Fucking hell. Right. Uh, and we'll just send him back again. Cool. And then probably just tell them to provide security, just hold fast in there. I think the Zeus's might be just taking a moment to get themselves sorted. Right, so they're just walking up and down this road, yeah? Uh, yeah, just send them back now then, mate. Spin round, head back. Give the Zeus's a chance to... Someone wide walk them, quick! Oh, hello. 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 Thanks, Jones. He's got a gun. As you can see there, the guy hopped out his vehicle, pointed his weapon directly at civilians, and as obviously we know, this is an insurgent area. So at that point, you know there's an imminent threat to human life, so he's pointing his weapon at those civilians. You believe he's about to engage, you are free to engage him and prevent the atrocity happening. Any questions? I did good. Yeah. Did you have to you did good. <laughs> Challenge. Do I get a cigarette? If you can do that, British Army stop or I fire, you are to do so. However, if a guy hop out of a vehicle and immediately start bringing their weapons up, you probably haven't got a lot of time. Probably not. Yes, so... Do be aware that you'll do that in a minute. Mm. Yeah. Um, it's basically if they start pointing directly at them. It's, it's your, um, your honest belief, that's where that comes in. So you need to honestly believe he's about to engage that target. If he's not, then you've got to give the challenge of British Army stop or I fire. Right. Okay. Uh, one one. It's now your turn. Designate free bod. Underwood, bring those dudes back. Cool. Come back over to us. Um... Mega Fetley. Boom. Okay. Lovely. You just. You did say all that on. Uh... Nice effort. Uh, we're ready to proceed to the next one. Uh, do you want them just patrolling back and forth in the market again, over? Just walking on with his great brother, for fuck's sake. <laughs> No. Lovek, get off the fucking FSG vehicle. Why did he fucking hurt? Because he's FSG. Because it's his. If he job. wants to shit in his hands and clap in it, he's allowed to. It? It's his own vehicle. Back in one, two. one, proceed into the market, conduct the same patrol. Goodbye, people. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, Pat. Thank you, Support. Control C, Mega, to walk. Okay. Uh, just as they seem to have set up a the one of the future scenarios. If you look on that hill up there, what can we see? Yeah, he's there. Oh, okay, truck over there. Truck. A camera. Yeah, the guy has a scope with him, so we can surmise that he's a spotter. Is he a threat to human life? I mean, he could just be a wildlife Not photographer. Sure. Exactly. You don't know, but if you honestly believe at that point he might be an enemy spotter. But again, he's not providing he's imminent threat to human life. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't engage him. So the only thing we can do here is basically send up a patrol and go and ask him what's he's talk uh, what's he's doing. If he still believes he's a spotter, like we can then arrest him. Okay. Let let them let them do it. Okay. So here, again, is an IED <laughs> listening. Is a guy here with an IED chest on an imminent threat to human life? Yeah. Immediately engage that threat. Okay. Cool. Wait, did, did he have a vis visible like explosion? Yeah, I, mean, I missed it. Yeah. What is it? Well, okay. Some vest on. Yes, he has a vest on. So. But he has a yes. vest on, but what, so, people wear that ugly shit. So I'll wait until people uh, wait, wait, Can we have an Mike example of this? Um, yeah, so in terms of people getting with the suicide vests, what if there's a situation where that was done against their will and they weren't outright trying to harm they... us? Okay, so, uh, hold on a minute, Zeus is... Basically, um, Mikhail, 
you would, I think, what they can hear over there, we can't hear it. Basically, that guy's probably shouting Allah Akbar and stuff. Yeah. So the guy would be communicating with you. That's the only way your circumstances and honest belief come into it. So if you've got a guy walking up slowly to you, he's less of a threat, but also he's probably going to communicate, like, please don't hurt me. Yeah, I get, I get that. It's more so in, in terms of our immediate actions. I, I would, I would immediate assume. Immediate action is the shower to bomb, same with the other vehicle one, and then, and then obviously everyone would get into some cover, and then basically start assessing the threat. Now, obviously, then the person who has directly seen it, if the guy's running at him, and shouting Al Akbar, he knows it's an immediate threat to human life, so he can engage. If he's not running at you and causing an immediate threat, then you can obviously afford to wait and tell him to stop, hold there, and then, talk, then start talking to him. Yeah, that's a tense fucking scene. I it mean, is, yes. it's also good for everyone else to get their eyes out because they could have a trigger man nearby. Yeah, almost certainly not just doing it against his will. Yeah, exactly. You figure your own shit out. Mm. Yeah. But don't. They uh, have secured the AO. I believe they said something about civilians need to come medical. And did it just fuck off? Okay, whatever. <laughs> In good time. Just reaction to that. Uh, Hendrix, can you bring Hendrix? Can you bring one one back, please? Okay, guys, get back on us. Right, one two. Fiddle, wait, whoa, oh. Mm -hmm. Um, did you see what they did afterwards? I did not. I had a few things. What are you doing? Have a um. I'm sorry. Pulling security and making sure that civilians are okay. That is a good point of call. Obviously, that is a, probably as a section commander, that's something you would do and orchestrate. Okay, perfect. Then, then second question: yeah, yeah. Uh, Can I have a look at the guy and his vest again? Like, uh, we'll do that in a bit, so everyone can have a close look. Look. Okay, perfect. Okay, so also, chaps, that I. I'll do a send over. Right, just like when Duffy gets pulled before up. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's your job. Yeah. Wow, Wonderwood. Wonder Wood. Wonder Wood. Wonder Wood. I mean, I always knew that uh, Lundy likes uh, his his girls with dicks, but is he on dudes now? Pulling no, Lundy just tugs me off before op. Right. <laughs> he's just a good friend, you know, to be on equal terms with your one before I see. You jail. <laughs> oh, that's true. Bonk yes. was a fucking bomb. Lovex, stop pissing around or I'm just gonna fucking arrest you and leave you there. Hello, Jai Jai 1, this is 1 0, and proceed southwest yeah, along right. this road, stagger column, and move to the designated area. On me. Out. Southwest, Alright, wait stagger for column. 1 1 and 1 2 to head off, we're gonna stagger column, column down the road. Uh, Lovex, go red for me. First person should be on the right side, I reckon. Ah, left uh, side. If you guys can get left side yeah. duty as far to our fucking nine o'clock as you can. Hi. Square, bro, are you awake? Did he have to again? Yes. Just leave him. He can catch up. Double tap C for me, Lovek. And then sprint out a tiny bit. Hello, Chai Chai 1, this is 1 0, double into position. Oh, do ya. Right, sprint it. Let's sprint out, I've just got on my last Lovek. Show back one, one, We're at the zoo, boys! Yeah. Okay. So here to the front, you can see 
A sheep fucker. Oh no. One free listener. So, you can see here, there's a field of goats and a farmer. You can see the farmer's arm. Is he a threat to, immediate threat to human life? Put your weapon down. No, no. no he's not. Low vec. You'll probably see lots of these farmers around in campaign. They are not a threat, they're just minding their own business. Somebody can be armed and not be violating anything and still be a, um, <laughs> and still, uh, be not a threat to human life. Now, obviously, he's starts start pointing our weapon at, at us. Then we're starting to think, oh, what's going on? And if he engages us, then he loses his protection. Um, so at this point, we just let him get on with his own business. Okay. Yes. Or if he does it and tells a key, or if he does it and tells a key. Doesn't matter. If they've got a gun, like, like they're protected until they shoot us, and then they're not protected until well, they can one. get fucked. Zero. I'm going to troll oh, wait, wait, the guys back, because we have the sandal on route, over. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Mikael, run! Shut the goat! I mean, again, he didn't use it against us, so he's still protected. Does what he fucking wants with his goats. Alright, so this is actually a point. Go through the Muha if, for example, uh, uh, into guys, listen in. If, for example, FSG had their dog, and a oh, don't bring the dog up, I miss the dog. The dog. And the arrow shot Had. the dog. We cannot engage, as it's not an imminent threat to human life. It's just human life. It doesn't matter how much we love the dog, or our animal, or whatever, and we think it's wrong, we still cannot kill them and provide lethal force. We can arrest them for doing maybe an unlawful act, but we can't neutralize them. Does that make sense? Well, it yeah. doesn't, but I cool. guess it does. You're up. You're That's up. bullshit. Platoon, form up on road, provide mo uh, mount up. Not mount up, move off. Back. Cool, let's Platoon go back over to the road, west. I hate him. Mm. Spitter was wrong. If I see a motherfucker, shoot a dog, I'm gonna shoot him. No, if the dog is officially an escort, British Army unit, we're allowed to shoot him because he's technically a soldier in the British Army. Yeah, but when it's their own pets and shit, they can do what they want. I mean, we don't have a dog anyway, so FSG's dog is no longer existent. No, Judge I one. This is one zero bit heading northeast towards the airfield. Wait, wrong What's wrong with that? Right, we're heading off to the uh, where we was. So wait for everyone to pass by us and then set ourselves up on them. What if Snoop Dogg joins the unit? I mean, no, Judge I one. This is one zero. Be advised, it's Wayne's. Just to set up. Have got a dog. Snoop Dogg joins the unit, I'll, I'll blow him. <laughs> First man's gonna be left, so stay where you are, Lobeck. Hello, 1-1 one, one, Char, this is 1-0, one, I did not release the platoon to move off yet. Over. Yeah. Oh, Charlie, watch it out. Oh. Keyword, was. He was the best of boys, Mikhail. Fucking Until toy tapping tool. Yeah, no, they're toy <laughs> shopping. <laughs> 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 no, 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 they ran him over and then Cause shot him. Because then Kona said he was in the way and fucking Mikhail took exception to that, so we didn't have flight for that op. Because <laughs> he shot all the pilots. Right, take a nick. Rightfully so. No, that was a bomb of a hole. Hello, Chai Chai 1, this is 1 0. You may proceed back to airfield now. Out. Uh, you're, you're basically the fucking unit commissar. I think it's allowed. He was a good boy. Looked like he shit himself all fucking time, though. <laughs> Needed a fucking nappy or something. What? Right, let's move on.
No, no. <laughs> Gonna do? Shoot me! It's army stop me off and shit. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's up defensive position. Down on the floor now. You can't come to ice just through a rock. On the floor. No. Right, pull him out. One three score this. You're these trespassers. <laughs> Take him away. Get away. What the absolute fuck, man? Keep moving. Keep moving. Stay in formation. Keep moving. Going. <laughs> Get out of here, we don't want you here. <laughs> yes, go quick. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> He's got pocket rocks. I thought I turned them down as well. If you've gone through the checkpoint, Heron burn it up and wait out. A Duffy. Stop <laughs> like a fucking shit and gets knocked out. Charlie, Mr. Helmet. injure me. Told him to stop. He didn't stop. He threw the rock against my head. I told him to fuck off. One more try. This is one zero. Send over. <laughs> Charlie, I assume you mean Aaron goes back at the checkpoint, over. Was there, uh, yes, how if you can have a bonnet here, now it makes sense. Right, her bonnet here. Oh, Charlie, roger that out. Uh, just bring it over, over here, on this side. Oh, shit. Uh, what's this? Hello, Zeus, this is Wanzer. He probably wants his helmet slightly off yelling, as we can all hear him and his plans. Oh, shit. Okay, so for that, you obviously had hecklers, had people throwing rocks at you. So for that, they're not causing a threat to human life. They are being inconvenient and they may cause you harm, but you are not authorised to engage. Now, obviously, you can move over and try and arrest them. If they are, however, in a mob, then we just simply have to act as a cohesive unit to ward them off, using smoke, simply holding our ground, and um, maybe even pushing uh, pushing them away. But we still cannot engage. Of course. So at that point, if somebody has been injured, and you believe we can attempt to arrest that person, then do so. Move off, use a team, have some people covering you, tell them to get on the ground, and we'll probably go through more of that civvy procedure in our checkpoint uh, training next time. Uh, but for the moment, uh, Duffy, I just want to say that was probably a little bit of an overreaction. You don't say, stop or I fire. <laughs> you, it's more of a, uh, stop that or get on the ground now and be uh, more forceful. Not a, I will fire it because you're throwing a rock at me. I started with that and he kept going. Yeah. <laughs> um, the appropriate response in that scenario is to simply don't arrest the person. Time, Duffy. Okay. So, hold on, let me... Hello, this is one zero. That's conclusion of scenario set Can one. Uh, flashbang. Part two, momentarily over. One zero negative. Um, just looking at the time over. Yes, it's still seated. Do you agree with us? Do you agree with you saying, "Hey, no, Arthur and Thomas are paying attention." Right. Obsession 30 seconds. So, this next bit is basically just breaching off. So, we covered the self defense, we've done the scenarios. Anyone got any questions on the scenarios? What about like a stun grenade? Flashbang? So, Stuns, um, they are basically more or less used for, um, for room clearing. They're not overall that effective 
for um, open spaces, but I could see probably their use with a, a large crowd. We'd like to probably use um, smoke grenades as like tear gas and put our uh, gas, um, sorry, our GSRs on, our respirators, and pretend those are like tear gas, for example. You kind of have to role play this a little bit. Because obviously we can't go in with riot shields and start pushing them back yet. Okay. Um, yes. Question. Mm -hmm. um, regarding when one one went through the market with the girl with the bomb. Yes. Um, of course, there was no visible thing that he had a bomb on. He just had a backpack and a regular oh, he didn't. vest. Okay. Right. There is a so, particular vest with the IED on it, so I'll write that down. Make sure we just use that for the future. Yeah. It looked uh, very specifically speak? just a normal vest. No, there's nothing to say. He just sort of walked up and. And then the guy with the fucking uh, yeah, spotting so thing is moving. The guy is running at you, shouting Allah at you. Yeah, it's fine. I'm pretty much getting an IED yeah. uh, bomb on no, you. The guy just walked up. Nothing. He's gone down. So I just sort of took it as just a guy coming out to buy the bomb. Mm -hmm. Right, section. Uh, I want you to push off next to the Challenger 2. Push off in all that order. Actually, move off with another first one, three. Uh, just on single side. Move off. Let me guess, Gibbons. Ah, I was surprised. Gibbons is the pilot. Right, uh, hold yeah, it. Like cool, Herringbone on the low back. Um, low back, put your weapon down. Actually, in the woods. Yeah, mate. a shoulder shoulder extended line here. Cool. Facing down the road. One. Delta right side, Charlie left side. Them, behind them, standing up. And then Flying two, behind one. them. In a the one free, take a knee. There's a snipe from a distance. Oh yes, we're doing our Napoleonic firing lines now. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, get to my right. Tank yes. Oh, hi there. FYI, there's such a thing as tank back block. Everyone there is it's... going to get hurt by it. Could you shoot record a little bit, please? <laughs> Okay, make an extended line southeast, really close. Better get on my left. Oh, yes. Really close. Oh, yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Everyone listening? So here, this is called reasonable force. Uh, so, everyone see <laughs> down in the road. So, this is one day you may send your rifle over. That's gonna hurt me, isn't it? Oh, oh, little little person's person. gonna hurt somebody. Kind of Sorry, I uh, don't see it? anybody. Oh, are we gonna shoot someone? No, everyone does not fire. <coughs> All right, good. And now we wait. Now we play the waiting game. Mega. Ah, hello. Yeah. Oh, there's a shooter. No one come here. So there. Yeah, over pressure. A a tank there. engage a lone rifle on his own with no one else. I know he's stuck on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> so that's now, reasonable. Do you believe that is a reasonable use of force? Yes. For no. No. <laughs> Get rid of him. He's got sandals. No, no. We do not use a massive overpowered tank to take out one single dude. That's just a waste of ammunition. It's a waste of force, basically. <laughs> It needs to be appropriate to the circumstances. So, us will be one section of one fire team engaging, and it's more than enough. <laughs> so, however, there's a different circumstance here that way with the tank would be appropriate. Hello, Zeus is one zero. Sniper, over. Oh, well, I already got hit by a rifleman, oh, so the sniper's gonna hit you, shoot me in the face. <laughs> So, nice. now, I want you to imagine that sniper is well out of our engagement range. If we physically can't hit him, and the only weapon system that can engage him is the tank, we can use the tank. Then that's completely fine use of force, even if it is overkill for one dude. If that's the only weapon system that can engage, or such as a javelin or a mortar, then that's what we can use. It's obviously when the okay. things are closer in and we can engage them as infantry, one die is not worth the, using the tank. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, cool. Hello, this is one zero. Thank you for scenario two. Prep for scenario three, over. <laughs> it is, yes. yes it it's a I believe. I okay. It's still a man of scorts, bruh. Right, okay. 
What I'm going to cover now is the people in arm function. <coughs> One zero, Roger that. I'm just covering people with armed conflict. I should give you more than enough time, Robert. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is cover people in armed conflict. So, can anyone name me a uh, type of person in armed conflict? Civilian. It got civilian. Combatant. You have a combatant, yes. You have regularly always call them regular forces as well. Can anyone give another type of combatant? Irregular yeah, forces? Yeah, regulars or guerrillas. So, ta uh, Taliban basically. People who are just basically taking a rifle and are fulfilling a military force still. Anyone give me another example? Mercenaries. Yes, you have mercenaries, yes. Anyone give me another? Church people. <laughs> the church. <laughs> <I'm crying>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, yeah, so basically what uh, Lovett just says, completely correct. Uh, Non-combatants, such as aid workers. Um, the final one, which we've not really seen lately, is levee and mass. It's basically a mass uprising. Think of the French Revolution, basically. Like, all the people yeah. taking up arms. Angry mob? Ba uh, Question. On a larger mob. scale, yes. Oh. Hendrix? What's the difference between civilian and non-combatant then, in general? They basically, um, a non-combatant is a somebody who's fulfilling a role, whereas a civilian is just a local inhabitant. Okay. A translator so, in, uh, connected yeah. to a fighting Military. force would be a non-combatant? <laughs> yes. Ah, also, you say you have IDAP, for example. Mm -hmm. um, they would be non-combatants. Uh, security workers, they could be non-combatants. Uh, they're not basically engaging directly with an armed conflict. Okay. This so, so police are non-combatants. Yes. So they can still be armed, but they're non-combatants. So, I'm just going to write you out a list now of protected people and objects. So, actually, can somebody give me a, uh, a protected person? A journalist. Uh, think of more categories. Clergy. Uh, yes, religious. Medical workers. Yes, Wiki Gates. <laughs> Anyone Orders. think of any of us? Um yes, we have said charity, so think of the Red Cross. They are protected, yes. Diplomat. Who's the people with blue hats? United Nations. UN volunteers? Yeah. Peace Corps? Yep, United Nations. Uh we've got wounded and sick. We mentioned a few like defense workers like police. Um you got civilians with forces, so like translators, I think Banch said. Yep. Um you got refugees, prisoners. Uh you want also protected are the dead. You can't go desecrating the dead. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> That's bullshit. Okay, so here's two. Can you engage paratroopers? Not until they Not land. When in there. They no, they land. Yes, you can, can engage them. They're counted as armed combatants even if they're in the air. Where this has got confused is with pilots. Ah. You cannot engage downed pilots because they are not armed. And also they're not unless combatants. They're, yeah, unless they're jumping out of a surveillance aircraft. Well, then they're spies. That's a completely different category. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah. If the aircraft has crashed and they are evacuating from the aircraft, presumably. Yeah, so basically, think of it this way if they're evacuating due to the fact to save their own lives, they're not counted as combatants. Whereas if it's power dropping, it's a military operation to take somebody else's land. They're being an offensive action, so you can engage them. Okay. So, say we've got a, a Russian. How would he turn into a protected from a aggressor, a combatant? He if he's up, bailing surrenders. out of an aircraft in distress. No, he's on the ground. Just say he's on the ground. There's no ah. complication there. Surrenders. He surrenders. Yes, we got a surrender. What else can we have? Becoming he injured. gets unconscious. Injured. injured, yes. Wait, I'll... One zero, send over. One zero, yes, the checkpoint, over. Roger, roger that. Out. Okay, yeah, and then the final one is captured. So basically they've surrendered, um, and you've captured them. Um, Can we so all surrender them? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's just captured, surrender. Surrender is basically when they're putting their arms up, and you've not detained them yet, but the captured is when you've properly detained them. They're still protected. Um, so just going off of that, so we surrendered, mis misuse of white flag, and also they're surrendering and still engage you. That's kind of as a war crime. You can they lose their protective status at that point, and you can engage them. 
So incapacitated, also like I mentioned earlier, if they're still fighting and they've lost half their leg, they're still counted as a combatant. You can still engage. Okay. Um, objects that's basically breaching off categories before medical, cultural, installations with dangerous substances. You don't want to attack a nuclear power plant. Uh, nature, civilian, survival of civilians. That's like water supply, fuse, uh, fuel source, food, and um, anything with protective symbols. That's like Red Cross, hospitals. You know what I mean. Any questions about what we just covered about people who are protected and objects which are protected? Mm, Places of worship. Mm, so what? If we... Ah, religious. That will come for religious. So if we can engage from a mosque, we can shoot it. No. So, no. I, 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 wait, I'm sorry, hold on. Um, if it's a mosque or a religious, anything that's on there, if it is normal, you can't engage it whatsoever. If a sniper, for instance, uses the church tower as a fire, uh, fighting position, it loses protective status because it becomes occupied by the enemy. So then you can engage and neutralize that target. So you can lose these protections if they are engaging you and obviously use them as offensive action. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, use explosives on the church in that case? You probably wouldn't be popular if you did. No. Basically, can we destroy the building? You probably could, and depending on what ROE you are on, but you, again, you probably wouldn't be popular with the local populace. So it's probably not a good idea. That's how you get sandals and angry mobs. <laughs> yes, exactly. Hearts and minds. Sandals. It's hearts and minds. Okay, who did the last scenario? Was it 1-2? One, 1-1. Two? One, one, one. It was 1-1. One, one. Uh, we'll have 1-2 one, then. 1-2, one, uh, send some new people down there, please. And then one one and one right. into the towers. Okay. Joe Smith Duffy. Okay. Yep. Come on. Exactly. Yes. Uh, with the like Same towers. losing uh, like protective status, is it possible to like regain that? Like, Ooh. Uh, if I can try to get killed, would that then regain my status? Or something like that? So what I'm hearing, I think we have to take fire from the mask group and burn it to the ground. So no. no. You are only able to engage a mosque or anything inside a mosque, should I say, if it's at a distance and causing us issues. So, for instance, that hill over the far back there, if there was a mosque on top of that with a sniper in it, we physically can't engage that, so we would need something else to be able to engage it. So, something like an airstrike could potentially be viable there, as long as there's no civilians in the area, or tank shells, you know, etc., etc. Something that's beyond our fa uh, physical capabilities. Hello, Should... Jai Jai one this is one zero. This is a live fire scenario. Keep your heads on swivel. Oh. There's a guy burning. Jump uh, right out of a tank, and um, we. Should I mean, we... if they have a tank, there's a bigger issue than it being a coin op. No, no, no. But it's blown up. He's crawled out of the tank. He's on fire. Um, do we put him out of out of his misery? Or no, do we let you him let burn? him. You let him burn. What if it's a really oh, hot um, Just so you guys are aware, it's a live fire exercise. Do not engage. This is one one or one two's uh, thing. Put yourself on um, fucking. Put your weapon away or put it on safety. Oh. <laughs> They're using an ass. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Hello, Jai Jai One, this is One Zero. Cease fire, cease fire. I want everyone back down off the towers. Out. You heard him off the tower. Hello, One Two Jai, this is One Zero. Recall your bots from the checkpoint. Out. Hello, this is one zero. Good work. Oh, I just did do. Still have a level hill. There we go. Most likely. Okay, chaps. So you can see there, that was an ambulance armed with a 50 cal and insurgents inside. Is that protected? No. No, it's not. It is being used offensively, and again, as soon as you arm that ambulance, it loses its protective status. Now, there is a caveat here. If, for example, you have a field hospital, it can be guarded by personnel. Now, if those personnel start engaging offensively in the area, they lose their protected status as part of the hospital. However, if they are simply guarding their patients, and, for instance, doctors can guard their patients if they believe they're under threat,
they still have protected status. But obviously, if they start moving out and start doing bloody bounding and section attacks, they lose their protected status. Does that make sense? Yeah. Cool. Yes. Right, we'll move on to the next scenario. So, one free. I want three bods up front. Switch them around again. Everyone else, take position. Uh, Coca, Lundgren, and so myself. Which we'll coolio. Actually, uh, uh, I'm going to change that around. Well, Vic, do you want to go out? Yeah, uh, sure. Cool. Uh, yes, go down here. Yeah, so it'll be you three. So you head out. Uh, one of you will need to be up ahead. Um, and basically just do a, a stop. Calling them out to stop. Do stuff like that. Um, and then fucking... Yeah, if they don't... Highest rank first. Uh, no, highest ranks at the back. Because he needs to liaise. Must be locked with them. Because I've got this. I mean... It's either you or Lover that goes front. Yeah, but then, but then it started flapping as soon as it came out of uh, <coughs> the land. Feel free to crouch as well, Lundgren. Being so far up forwards, you're a lot more risque to being hit. Watch. Once uh, you simply interact with them by kind of storm up the checkpoint, running for help, and then you'd be get asked to they'd ask to come in and for security and say, "Hey, have it." I mean, it'd be a shame if he was. Sell Lundgren deals with this. Place a bet. Huh? Place a bet. Place a bet. I think he's going to do poorly. <laughs> <laughs> if it's enemy, I think he's going to die. Uh, no, so from what Spittle just yelled out, it sounds like it's going to be um, a civilian running up um, to the checkpoint. Oh, never mind. Okay. There's going to be multiple of them. Oh, no. Someone's throwing something and he's <laughs> so, someone trying to slip us at long green. I know you have the urge, but please, please hold it in. Hello, Chai Chai. One to go. What's the situation out there? <laughs> Let me in. Let me in. <laughs> I'm gonna stop him, Monday. Come on. <laughs> they fight. Yeah, they just ran past you. They might as well uh, shake your hands as they're walking past. <laughs> Thanks for letting us in, bud. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know, I heard. So, uh, I didn't ask if we could shoot them. <laughs> I'm having <laughs> mild flashbacks. Right, who was the point man then? That was me. Right, so how did you interact with them? What did you say? I first told them to stop. And then I told them, British Army, stop. And then they were swarming me and was trying to talk with them, but they just swarmed past mm -hmm. me. Okay, so at that point, if they're swarming the defences again, we've got to think of this as like a defensive position, because it's our airfield, we can't just have people w walking in. You would raise your weapon up and say, British Army, stop or I fire. Now, at this point, I'd hope that the Zeusers would go, oh, yep, yep, okay, I'll play, I'll play ball. Um, 
And also, at that point, if you suddenly get surrounded a little bit, that would be the checkpoint commander, so in this instance it might be Banshees of Fallen Edelman, he would call in other bots to come support you, because again, you're on your own out there at the very front, it's quite nerve-wracking. So that's when we'd start bringing forces forward to contain that. Now, at the moment, they weren't presenting a human threat, because they're just all sitting there unarmed, they're shouting, they want help. So, we would yes. obviously want to ask them what's going on before we let them in, uh, that and was whatnot. What I was trying to hear. Yes, I understand you, I, I did hear you. But yeah, at this scenario, obviously there's the people asking for our help. We obviously are obliged to uh, provide it. But obviously we still need to control the, the checkpoint. Now we will do a checkpoint training, so at that point what would happen is we bring them in one by one, we search them, and then we bring them forward and bring them into the base if they were properly searched. Now obviously if they start running into the base, that's when you use the stop or I shoot, and they still don't comply, then they are a threat because they are actually coming into this base. We don't know what they've got on them. It could be IED bombers. We don't know. So that's why the, the challenges and orders need to come in. So, yeah. that makes sense? I was looking for a vest, but I couldn't see one. Yeah, you don't, like we've experienced, we, they don't always have to have a vest. They could, we don't know what they have. They could have grenades inside their pockets or whatever, you don't know. Sandals. So, yeah, sandals. Um, so at that point, yes, yeah, British Army, stop or I fire. You've given them the fair warning. They're charging through your defences, and they might infiltrate the base. That's a no-can do. Uh, the only thing we can really do in armour is tell them to stop, arrest them if they can, but again, if they're running around like uh, headless chickens, there's probably not a good chance we're going to arrest them, and then there's a fire. We can't ruby tackle them, we can't hold them to the ground, we can't set dogs on them, unfortunately. So, we're kind of constrained in that regard. If it was real world, we'd probably, had, we'd probably end up tackling them to the ground. Just a little right. um, pro tip for arresting people as well, if they are moving about, I believe it's either shift F1 or F2 is the hot key to arrest them without having to go into it. Shift F1. That's, That's F1. reminded me, actually, the last time we did this, we set the hot key up. So section commanders, make sure you bother to set the hot, a hot key up to arrest people real quick. That's Thank you, Mikhail. That's reminding me. Isn't that basic, uh, not standard set? It's standard as shift F1, mm. yeah. I can't hear Underwood, I think he's speaking. Shift F1 okay. is standard, yeah. Observe. Yep, it's standard. There you go. Oh, thanks thanks for like, being uh, all right. quick. Freedom, please. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a recipe hey! for... <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't... Not what I wanted to do. Shades darker. Yeah. Fifty Shades Otter. Oh, Wait, were you just being like Fifty Shades Browner? Is that what that was? Were you just being racist? Oh no. Oh for fuck's sake. Right, let's stop arresting each other. Yeah, stop it, stop it. you now. There you go. It's for the chat. Get ready to move out. Herringbone. Oh, there's a send over. Right, it's Herringbone over here, Chuck. Which way are we facing? Yes. Good. Oh my god. Right around this side of the road, are you playing like British Bulldog or something? No, yeah. You're gonna run up. Uh, Jama? Hello, one free shot, this is one zero. on my position. Out. I never heard of uh, that. Hold that. Right, Underwood. Yes, mate. So what we need to do, uh, because there's going to be a grid in a second, is another market with a like a food uh, distribution center. I want you to patrol the guys through it, simply witness it, and then come back. Uh, by that point, we'll go into the Valen lesson. I'm going to start setting up all the IEDs and stuff, like the things like a Zoom. So we are going into uh, down the road down here and then back again, yeah? I, it's a different market to what was before. I'm just waiting for a grid. Righto. All right, but I want you to delete it so it can free me up to go and do this uh, stuff the next part. Mm -hmm. uh, quick opinion, is this good so far? Yeah, it's all right. Um, very informative. I think, as I said uh, through the message, you probably could have pulled people back to the second checkpoint barrier so everyone could then hear on the yelling. But wait, one Underwood. Send it over. One zero, Roger over. One zero, Roger, thank you. Out. Right, say again, Underwood. Uh, yeah, just bringing people back, but I think it's a bit farther than, uh, for now then. Um, okay. Yeah, just so everyone can hear what's happening in the yelling. 
Yeah, I think we could hear most of the time, but I think we've got the vehicles coming through is a bit uh, louder. I also want to, don't want them to get shot or blown up. Anyway, Underwood, your task is as follows. Proceed down Main Road, take a left on the T-junction. There should be a mark on the right side in this compound in grid 063113. Seen? Yep, seen. All right, push out there, patrol through market, witness the event, come back. Uh, what am I doing? Doing it with just a section or? The platoon. The whole platoon. So the whole platoon yes. is going through that market, coming around and then mm -hmm. back on themselves sort of thing? Basically, what we need to do is take them there, let them witness the uh, bases are providing food. Um, and obviously there's going to be armed security guards. So okay. I want them to witness, obviously, these are still technically uh, um, they're providing security, so they're not a threat to human life. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Sounds good. Push off now. Will do. <clears throat> right. I sees quickly on me. One I sees that is. Ah, uh, Duffy Hendrix on me. What? Come here. I can barely hear you. Fucking right. So what's gonna happen? No, don't worry about. It. I'll come over and tell. Uh, right. So what's gonna happen? We're walking down this road and then moving in through this little uh, market here. We're gonna basically come back on ourselves and then head back and round up. Um, basically, what's happening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, you should see a blue square that's marked out. There's there's a market in this compound. What we're gonna be doing is walking down here and into that market and back out again and just basically walk, patrolling through. I want to do a staggered column going through here so everyone can see and it's quite quick. But it, as it is an area, we'll have to filter through singly and then a uh, staggered column on the other side and then just basically patrol around. Um, everyone's then to get eyes on what's happening and it's basically an armed area um, and it's just a, a secured location so no engagement of any enemies in there as per usual. Um, what I want to do, Hendrix, if you take um, the platoon out, just head down there um, and then we'll cycle round and then just start heading back towards this T-junction just at the bottom of this road here. Um, just so Spittle's got enough time to be able to um, basically plan up the next area. Okay, so just move down to this point wait here. No, so keep moving all the way down to the end of the road, turn left. That was Spittle blowing up. Uh, okay. Turn left so and way, into this, this way, compound. This way, this way, and then wait here when we on the way back. Uh, yeah. Okay. Cool. Oh, sure. uh, you ready for us? Yeah. Uh, go whenever you're ready, mate. Yeah. Uh, one free child. This is one zero. You're free to push off over. Would you like to just inform the uh, other guys what's happening so it's easier? Out. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, this oh, right. Uh, low vex. Um, just follow on from one two. We're going through a area where the fuck is up with my talking. So we're going through an area which has basically got um, something happening in there. Everyone needs to just get eyes on and obviously make sure they know what's happening. Um, so as we walk oh, through it, go through as a staggered column. Okay. Uh, Mikhail. Um, if anything, you're probably not going to need the vehicle, mate. We're going through a small compound. So when it gets to the compound itself, just leave the vehicle and we're going to cycle around and come back on ourselves. Actually, an amputee. <laughs> uh, Coker, uh, could you bring it back a bit? Unless you're really eager to become Charlie. Hold there. Coker? Yeah. You're part of Delta, mate. Uh, left side. Oh, Charlie arriving it's at the market and passing through. Out. Waiting for this, um, set of columns and fucking take a column to fucking half fuck itself. And if you look on your right, you can see it, but uh, something will go with the machine gun on it. Forgot that we were, oh yeah, billboard. Uh, 
No, I could that much as well. Oh, I'm zero oh, now. Okay. Uh, so we're basically just walking through this little um, market in front of us, Mikael. I'm just following one. Yeah, just walk through the market. We just met one one. Yeah, I know, they're cycling around. All we're doing is going through this market, just you making sure that everything's good, good here. Food. Walking. No card, no food. Hello. Right. Pretty chill night. <laughs> Keep eyes out in the situation. Send again. Fire off the gun. Just said, just keep your eyes open about it. Yeah. Again, armed area. Um, it's basically just a scenario that's going on. As soon as you've uh, come out, cycle round and turn right. And spittle just went bang again. I didn't say do anything. About, I didn't say do anything about it. I just said just keep your eyes huh? peeled about it. Uh, bearing 214, there's a bag of rice in the middle of the road. I don't know if that's actually supposed to be there for this. Uh, no, we're not doing anything there. Yeah. <clears throat> Only thing is, is I, I see that and I think IED, so... Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, we're gonna be catching up momentarily, mate. I think Lobo's gone with them. Yeah, he has. <clears throat> oh, there's some penguin over there. There, there might have been some action at that market, to be fair. Uh, probably. Right, uh, let's push ourselves back over inside the um, base. One one, if you want to lead us out, and Heronbone okay. on the right side again. Put that picture of the insurgents where one guy's got a guitar while all the rest of them have got machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, follow on one one. Follow on one three. Uh, one two yeah, even. Fucking like whatever their section is. Okay, we're following on. We are. What was the point in that? Latch onto the last Hello, one. Hello, one free child. This is one zero. If you can bring the bots oh, up into their starting locations in next to the barracks, form up in Heronbone there and await out for further orders. Over. One three, Charlie. Watch that. Moving them up there now. Out. So the idea of that was so you can see that even though they have got guns, they are still, um, you know, they are protected. We are not engaging them unless they engage yeah, us. Yeah. Um, the other thing was that you saw was the civilians were basically trying to get the food. Kind of think of the uh, uh, the beginning of Black Hawk Down, where there's the uh, gang that has the ownership of the food. Because we physically can't do anything about them, they are still protected so we may see shit like that happen and we just can't even uh, interfere because it's not our problem Watch. unless it's specifically our task Watch. oh and those guys have the weapons what those guys have weapons. Yeah, they're allowed to. Again, it's the case of they may have weapons, same as police officers have le weapons. Just because they have a weapon doesn't make them bad. It's only when they engage us yeah, that makes it bad. Or try to engage civilians. Why is there a. I'm right. not gonna ask. I don't know, I think uh, there's some stuff happening in America where police are shooting on people. Hello, one zero one three Charlie. Be advised, we're all at barracks now. Out. <laughs> Just go on, go, 
quick chug in the shower. Oh, now you're out again. That was a, that was a quick one. He just fucking He's twanged it. It makes the same noise when you put a ruler on the side of a desk. <laughs> oh, fucking oh. Lee Evans. I love it. <laughs> I've got to drop the kid up. kids out the pool. Throw back. Or one of those door stops. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to be back in the furnace years. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Problem is, my bloody fucking German like Shepherd is eating the entire fucking that. store. I can ask I mean, if he aggravated it enough, it will. Yeah. We'll try. <laughs> Don't try it. You underestimate my power. Don't try it, you might break it. My power. <laughs> Mm, you guys are underestimating Harley, the, the exhaust puffing dog. Oh god, don't get me started on that oh, fucking no. animal. Like, Harley, I don't Harley will, Harley like, huff exhaust from the back of the car. He'll, he'll, what was it, eat cigarette butts and, like, go looking for deer? Uh, alright, do you want me to tell like, a story? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sounds like that kind of dog. dog. All right. Wait, so <clears throat> my father has this uh, Boston Terrier, and uh, he's not he breed standard. He's, he's no, no, he's not. <laughs> he sounds like a fucking legend. All right. So here's the problem. My my current theory is that the dog is depressed because yes, he's prone to substance abuse. <laughs> I shit you not. <laughs> if you fire up a car in the back garden or something, and he's out of his crate or something running around, he will attack the fucking exhaust <laughs> and will furiously <laughs> inhale all fine. those delicious engine fumes. I and mean, that's how I wake up in the morning. butts out, he will eat them. <laughs> the dog it, doesn't know how to kill a cigarette. My, my, <laughs> <laughs> my father and stepmother have both lost cartons of cigarettes when this bastard <laughs> fucking finds them. And just, just eat them, tobacco and all. Put them yeah. on a shell. <laughs> sounds like and your dog right. needs some snoop. Um, as and Spittle's currently setting up the next in, area. Uh, they leave yeah, beer out. Just... Yeah, there we go. Uh, oh, right, as Spittle's now um, currently setting up the next you? area. I can't remember. Don't do I'm this to me. I'm on fucking yeah, yelling. Yeah. And now you are. Cool, right. So as Spittle's currently setting up the other area, um, what we've basically just exp um, it, uh, witnessed is a um, kind of like a scene that ha out of uh, Black Hawk Down. So even though there are people that are supplying out food and they have weapons, they are still protecting their territory, the same as what we would do when protecting a base. So even though they do have said weapons, we are not to engage them unless they physically engage us, even if this uh, situation such as that one was dire where we had um you know civilians actually begging for us to help them get food and things like that that would be where we would not actually intervene whatsoever because at the end of the day that's not our problem unless it is specifically our objective for that um that kind of operation night um is there any sort of questions on that uh or on di uh, in addition to that oh uh, yeah one thing go on if the security forces start engaging civvies, what's that? They have lost their privileges. Yeah. Um, the human life at that point. Yeah. So they are. A, 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 I'd obviously go over with this with spill, but yeah, generally they would be a, a threat to human life. So you would in, um, you would then deem them as an enemy. Um, what, okay. If, if they're if, um, not actually then, shooting, but like they're they're trying to enforce it, then it's probably an arrest, depending. Yeah, so it's the same as the police officers in the local area or the militia. They, are, again, have their own terms of how they can operate. Um, if they are a police force, then they can arrest people as well. You know, they got guns. They're going to be doing their own thing, so we wouldn't really interfere. We would maybe potentially assist them with that. Um, it does have uh, different uh, circumstances uh, to different scenarios. Um, so, yeah, it's always good to keep that in mind when it does happen. 
So basically, if they beat a motherfucker, we can arrest them. If they shoot, them, we can kill them. If they shoot, you say you Hello, Chai Chai 1, this is 1 0. I'm going to proceed to the northeast no, along the road. Like there is now three times range active. Speed, 1 1, you'll be on the left most range. range. 1 2 in the middle. 1 3 in the far right range. 3 Chai, acknowledge it. Get it to your right so you can land on the northeast, single file. Okay, guys. Cool. Head over to the northeast. Spittles Spittle's now got our um, exercise ready for the next area. Or uh, fucking practice. Should I grab the winner? Yeah, wait for one no, to pass. Get tiny up and... Uh, and Giggity. Call me there, please. No. Yeah. Oh, I was just... off station for like two minutes. Jesus. Use your fingers. Get one of those birds and like slowly time. dip down and press the key for you. Like in the fucking South Park uh, uh, Simpsons episode. Uh, range. We are indeed. Gather around for a second, I'll brief you all. What's going on? Gather around a little quickly. Okay, chaps. What we have behind us is a IED range. What you're going to do is take one times Balan. You have a box for each of your sections. You take one times Balan, it will replace your pistol slot. Then, one at a time, you go through the ranges, navigating the roof. And basically, you're just going to get from this side to the other side. When you get to the other side, you'll have me giving you peach waiting for you. We'll then move on to the following range. On that one, you're going to do the exact same thing. Use your valence to get from A to B. However, that time, you're going to use the spray cans to mark your roof. Then you're obviously going to get to the other side. You'll then come back to us. Then the second person, who's now just completed the one in front of you, will arrive. They will then remove their valence and then go through your roof that you plotted with your markers to see if they can actually get from A to B to the other side without blowing up. Does that make sense? See. Flight. That's complicated. Basically, you're going to be following the blue marked roof on the other side, if you're the second bod, before you do it. So make sure you get the bod in front of you has marked his route correctly, and that you can follow it without blowing up. What about theory Sorry, about marking it. route? We'll teach you that on the other side. Okay. But this one in front of you, Meanwhile, basically you get from this side to the other side, using a Valon. If you um, get blown up by a mine, uh, you're going to be healed by the Zeus's or start again. Alright? Any questions? Uh, yes, you want to take part to get on the range. Probably the one with the least people. Alright, so 1-1, one, one, you're on the left. 1-2 one, in the middle, 1-3 on the right. right uh, Zeus is first, and obviously back on. Just better, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, try to so, so, so your team. ranges are basically yes. marked. Yes. Uh, because of mine markers, are they are always being blocked off by the one times Hesco barriers that are currently uh, intersecting it. Provide a safe zone and no blast. Which one? The head. So no, just speed this up, fucking right. split yourselves up across the sections. Alright. Right. Yeah. right. So everyone grab one. As you say, it replaces a pistol, so just put your pistol in your bag or some shit. Uh, grab one from the bag, uh, box, and then go in section order. So Lovec, you'll go first, uh, in actual fact, before you head off. Uh, it's the VMH3CS, isn't it, Mikhail? Yeah. Cool. And then, if I remember correctly, you got... That's not the one I wanted. You got to actually activate the thing. Yeah, right, so wheel. once you've picked it up, uh, scroll wheel and turn on the mine detector. And then um, make sure you're on a walk and wobbling it side to side. It will only pick up in a, um, a distance of about 7 metres or so, only if you're aiming at it. So make sure you are definitely um, clearing that route. Um, and you have to say the wee woo wee woo. Yeah. Uh, right. Underwood, you're gay. Ha ha! Um, Coco, I'll let you go yep. next, mate, because Scrapper's not here and I'm going to go last. Oh, no. Bring it down a little bit, low, Vic. Um No, as in le uh, aim towards the ground closer, not crouch down. If you're pointing it towards the sky, you're not going to see mines. <laughs> so he points it towards the fucking sky. What a simpleton. Off you go, Coco. Oh, lightning. I'm 
fucking lagging hard because of that now. Oh shit. Land room? Yeah. That's not the course. Is it not? No. It's not. If one feature, this way. one zero. It is the range to your right, over. Right, okay. <laughs> Everybody get back, that's not the course. Can you TP Lovek back? Because <laughs> yes, he's going to be fucking moving. Uh, no. uh, Lovek, just jog back here, mate. There we go. Cool. Right. Course is in there. That's yeah, that's the one. Lovek, course is in there, mate. Oh. Off you go. Turn left as soon as you go in. Andy, where are you going? Where is the course? Right here, yeah, where the fuck we're standing next to? I wondered what was wrong with that. I wondered why you're just walking down the middle and nothing happened. Yeah, I was kind of assuming, wondering what was happening there as well. Uh, actually, you know what? It's literally you turn right as you come in here. Oh, what the fuck was that? Uh, Coco, on you. Oh, I see. Hello, one one Charlie and one two Charlie. Remember to turn the valens off and on with your mouse wheel out. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Hello, Charlie, Charlie. One, this is one zero. Make sure you have your bots going in one at a time so that we don't have one at a time chat dying at once. Out. Whoever's in there um, with the other guy, just hold off for a second. Lovek found a mine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, Coco, keep going. Like when all the German, uh, fucking, what do you call them? Like the D mine, Denmark. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they, I, I, I know what you mean. The POW said the D mine, Denmark. Yeah. I mean, that's one way to get it done. Cool. Nice. Um, whoever that is is currently halfway in. Feel free to head up. Oh, Scrapper. Yeah. Uh, scrapper, have you mouse wheel to turn it on? Yes. Cool, off you go. Make sure you're aiming with it. Yeah, make sure you right click it. If you pull up the my detection screen, you can see everything in a 15 meter distance. I mean, let's not cheat now. I don't have that because I'm doing AR. My no, you do. If you press your my, um, your square brackets, it does the same. Uh, has Lundgren got Lundgren? Off you go. Okay. Would okay. suggest walking. Walk. Not in the fucking sky. I mean, they'll learn eventually. I, mean, I I'm detecting mines, you assholes. <laughs> 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 it keeps yeah, clicking. Yeah, means you're getting closer. Yeah, but I, it's like no actual way through. I mean, there's got to be. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Lancaster, on you go. Mine's an old Spicy stuff. I mean, not to kind of ruin it, but you can see it on the floor anyway. Yeah, for. Yeah, might as well. I am Sulu as well. Huzzah, just wait on the other side. Hmm. Selfie. <laughs> Uh, be careful about it. Red Benito. Yeah, that's the one. Hello. Hello there. Did you? Oh, you died, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. The fucking uh, the screen for the mine detector is shit. Not that good. You're not meant to use the screen for the mine detector. That's why. Uh, go on, Mikael. You're meant to literally listen for the wee woos. So as you um like when you use a pistol, you aim. It will um bring the mine detector down and you want to keep it about that and just keep uh just keep scanning as you're going and you'll just hear clicking or wee woos as you get closer to mines obviously when it wee woos that means it's going to be bad if you keep going that way if it doesn't wee woo that means you're good 
In actual fact, you probably don't even need to aim. You can just probably um, shift side to side. Fucking weird. Yeah, I can confirm this still be for you not in. Oh yeah, no, I can hear it from me now. Make sure you've turned it on, Lovek. Yeah, See if you can take a different way this time. I must spare some while they're in here as well, because I don't want you to trod on one while I haven't. Yeah, wait until Mikhail gets past the sandbags and then you uh, catch up. A mine detector or metal detector? Uh, same thing. I see. Mines are made of metal, so it is literally the same thing. Right, going in, off you go. Again. Red markers do not cross that basically. That makes sense? Yes. Alright. One man from one one, one man from one two, one man from one three. Get yourself a spray can and go. Who dares to time right with the right yeah. course? And it yeah, go on in, mate. How else do you want the price is right. Cool, Scrapper's got it. He's our point, man. I'll give you a fucking lollipop prediction before you head in. Yeah, go on. I'll tell you why. Yeah, I mean, at least it's not yeah. fucking Lovec, because otherwise it'll be fucking piss flavoured. <laughs> Lemon <laughs> flavour. <laughs> Pretty good. I wish you good luck uh, in all the guns. So, first person going through, hit your mind detectors with you, because you've got to clear the path. Cool, everyone, everyone else put your. Herring bones here. Herring bones? Yes. I'll oh, keep fucking your wife, Scapa, don't worry. Remember, his wife slips a finger up his ass. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry, girlfriend. Soon to be wife. Just one way blew up. Uh no, that was one of one one's members. Yeah, it was one one. Yeah, no, it was one medic. Oof. Medic this. It wasn't great, was it? Don't do it. I feel like we started and we're getting hit by a lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Uh, that is correct. We're forming a herringbone area at my Remember point. Remember uh, this. As soon as they've come through this side, they'll just tag on here. This one is to go through without hitting your uh, point man's IEDs. So put your villains away. Um, whoever's got their villain out currently. So no, what is you running in the middle? Can you remove the X's? Probably you as well. A little bit of water and rub it out with fish. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how I do it when I mess up when I'm line marking football pitches. Oh, uh, God. I one one again. Where we could remove these before? Okay, so what does red and blue mean? Anyway? So blue means that we follow it, it's a good line. X means that it's a bad line. 
So no you wouldn't me. follow. Bloody hell, one feed. He just stormed through that one. So if it just, I it just it like ran. fucking blue and just. If you see blue, off. generally follow it. Yes. Um, if I remember correctly, it's um, if you see a marker like this, and you're walking down a road, if you see a double marker like that, it means that there is a mine that way, and that X will point roughly towards its direction from standing in the middle of the cross. Given. So in this case. That IED is apparently over here. Do you remember a way of removing these X's? Because I thought there was an interaction marker to remove them. Wow. Well, so all these free X's in a row mean? Uh, no go X's Yeah, no, gro uh, no go. So, so for instance, as a massive minefield, you would mark it off as three X's, and then you'd put a blue one on the right side to say go this way instead, and you'd follow yes, a different so blue uh, blue route. This one's good for pointing out singular IEDs. This is one when you like there's a bloody fuck ton of them. Oh, there you go. Cool. Is there a, a remover here? Uh, Can you do add and remove? And then... What? I did that. It's not coming up. I thought that was the way I did it last time. It's because the team's blowing up. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Jones. Yeah, Spit, would you be able to talk me through the gap? Yes, I'm going to be doing a briefing every single bit, so don't worry oh, about okay. it. Oh my god. Once again, it's going to be first. Oh, there's no one on the middle range. Uh, on three. Hello. Thomas. Uh, Hello. Send one of your guys to the left range. So, Levec, go left range. There you go. You can take your. Uh, um, uh. Lovek, do you want to do it? As you wasn't here for the uh, the actual breakdown as how everything goes. Yeah, then do it. Who, who did? Go left uh, no, he turned up as you were finishing it. Yeah. Alright, who's, who's the number one the two? Briefing first. Uh, these three. Alright, Koga, and me. take your... Yeah, alright. Uh, Koga, take your Valon and go do the left range. Where the fuck is Koga on the ground? Trapper's doing well. You Ace interaction. You way to remove the X's. I thought that was how we did it last time, and I don't seem to be able to, so I'm just going to Google it. Right. Right now. Okay. It's going to be pretty shit if we can't remove them. We could always, uh, like, take all of uh, the range and yeah, just that's... spawn it yeah, down somewhere. There you go. Just yeah. like that. So if you see a route that you think is viable, then you'd follow that uh, that cross, and then we would follow what it as well. What happens if uh, one of them explodes? We send in the next man. If they die, then, then send the next man. Or we can redo there. it quickly. No, so I mean, it, would, doing a good it job wouldn't be a blue there. Right, but... Lovek. I'll draw on the penis. No, <laughs> don't fucking draw a penis. I'm going to take the spray can off you. Yeah. No, no, I can stop you. Right, so in this case, you would not do that because that means that there's a mine over there, them two crosses there, and then that one saying that there's a, a good route. So what you've now just done is you've double negatived yourself by saying, oh, there's a mine there, but that's also a good route to take. So you turn so that one to a red one. So if you stand in the centre, you know roughly that cross is heading over you towards where you are. Follow you follow that and, and it'll go to a mine. Don't follow the red ones. So what about going like this? And oh, there's some shit there. Yeah, that so you one, wouldn't. So. they wouldn't be this close. You're not spraying every single foot exactly. that you're doing. All right, Lovex, stop spraying over here. Let's ask another question. So, like, so, so this right. is like a blocking line and you okay. turn like here. Uh, yeah, that's that's that would be a blocking okay. line, uh, but you, you would then go right, to the left or right, wherever you deem better. Please back up. Right, let's right. form back Do up. It. Herringbone. Okay, so it seems that we can't remove these for some reason, even though I remember last time removing them. Uh, so what's going to happen, we'll send two bolts at a time and then we'll just shift the course. Um, so I want one person from each section, so Petley, you're up, Duffy, you're up, and Lovick, you're up, drop your valance on the spot. Okay, love it. Oh, sorry, Petley. Go left range, follow his blue markers. Duffy, centre range, Jones, follow his markers. Love it. Go to right no. range, follow Scrapper's markers. Suicide idiot. So remember, follow the blue, <laughs> don't go near the red. Let's see how well they've done. I want to watch Lovic, I know he's going to hit one. If you want to watch, get on the. Like, the, 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 the 
Good luck. This is where the fun begins. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking mess, isn't it? Oh, look at you, mad lad. He's sprinting through it. Look at him go. Look at the confidence. Look at it. Please hit oh. one. Please. Fucking idiot. The fucking confidence. Look at him go. I, I, can't, I have it. I've got authority that he missed one by probably a book, like a single boot. Fucking hell. He's still reaching for the water now. Oh, yeah, he's right up his fucking ass. <laughs> Stop it! Kill that! Kill that man! <laughs> yeah, what? Stop climbing, fucking scraper! Wow. That's that's too easy. <laughs> oh my god! Fuck! Okay, so would you normally just fucking run through a minefield, lads? No, no, you wouldn't. It's been fucking marked clear. You wouldn't do it, would you? No. no we'll so, Lovek, don't fucking sprint through a minefield, mate. Alright. As you just prove. Hello, Jai Jai One. This is one zero. Bring all pods off you the range. Is going to shift this to the left no, and get a new set going. Out. For, you ran it right into the where I had fucking marked. Right, guys. Once uh, once Scape is out of here, if you can all jump off, I'm going to shift us. The range to the right and repopulate it. Why don't you just copy and paste it somewhere else yeah, and delete this that's one? What I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to do, yeah. Decent. And then just move the mines around. Just spicing this. Scraper. Yep. Unless you want to die. No, no, we just don't to the left. Oh. Just oh. I may have uh, had an idea go off in front of me that then cleared the path. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, if it works, it works. It was, I just have to put it in my face and like, oh, realize. Like, right, Peach, Gibbons, can you just put the, uh, the gravel stuff back in and you have blocks? And then put them there. I'm gonna get doing it two at a time because they've um, come through these first courses yes, really good. Could, really could right? be, not gonna. Yeah! Look, Jai one, this is one zero. You formed me, guys, I'm in Heronbone now. Out. Right. Heronbone here. Hello, one zero, it's one with Charlie, Miss Server. One zero, send that Oh, Charlie, what if we're still doing the ranges? Over. Was there, if you're on the starting range, disregard my last over. Yeah. Oh, Charlie, roger that out. For my hearing, bone, guys. That's why I went second. Fucking stop it. Scraper. I'm not gonna fucking say it again. Get in there. One free stop fucking about, get your hair and blood, listen to the fucking boss. It's not hard. Right, Lundy, stop winging, just get in. Right, listen in. You have two times blue markers. This is to designate a route. This is a safe route. Red marker. When you have an arrow like this, this is pointing to a single IED. The point of the arrow will point towards the IED. When you have a line of red markers, that means there's a no-go area. There's probably a minefield, a lot of concentration. If it's a one feed, push back one step. This one's scrap as one. Don't yeah, uh, I know. Lovex one. Right, so basically here... If, for example, you've got blue markers and they're usually greeted by red, that's basically your end of your path. You must divert. There will normally be markers going off in a different direction. Any questions? All right, to be this long, we're going to have two times people at the same time. Set the section, push your herring bones to the northwest, uh, form back up. Move on now. Right, we're taking the far southeast one again. Mop. 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 I don't need in game tonight. Alright, that's weird. I don't think anyone was there. Hello, Chai Chai 1, this is 1 0. Is there any injuries? Ever? Any injuries? 1 to Delta. Uh, no. there's one zero Mike just laying unconscious in the middle of the X minefield. Out. Oh yeah, that's gonna suck. That looks good. Which one of you fuckers wanna go in there? Uh, yeah, sure. I've already done it. Yeah, actually Lovek and Scrapper have already done it, so you guys can watch. Uh... Okay. Hello Jojo one this is one zero. As there now seems to be a few ICs on this side on the second phase. 
ICs will now be in charge of each given range. Send pods in two at a time and control their pace. We will simply maintain the range with IEDs. Mm. Any questions? Over. Uh, one, three. Uh, are we sending them in and doing the same tr route, or are they doing two different routes? Over. One, zero. Send them in from one side and then the other, so that way they should have two different routes. One, three. Right, oh, out. Yep. Uh, right, Lancaster, Sorry. you take the right side. Coco, you take the left side. He's right there. Right, low vague, get down. Are you in the. Because we're getting what we're in range now. Four and six, so just come out. That's the last one when you guys fucking didn't tell me it was stopping it. Uh, you're doing this one, by the way, Coco. Uh, you're doing right side. Hey, I just did the last one. No, Scrapper and Lovek did the last one. No, that was me. It's not a great sign on that. There's fucking one in the doorway. Hey. Apparently, there's one in the doorway, Peach. Is there? Yeah, I'll, I'll get on that as well. <laughs> Peach is having some uh, issues. He'll be with you momentarily. Uh, take the uh, left one, right, uh, sorry, yeah. the right one instead, if you uh, have one in the doorway. Uh, yeah, there is one right next to the doorway, but he can get past it, so... Disregard, apparently you can get past it. Right, Lung Green, you pulled the short straw, in you get, right side. Right side? How do I use the uh, spray paint? Uh, ace interaction, so Windows key. And make sure you've got both a blue and red can no, as well. Yeah, another thing. Make sure you're pointing <laughs> right at the ground. Do you want my guys to move out of the way for you? That's no, alright. Just need to not be, you know, stupid. Dumb. <laughs> God, that's hellish. I'm using that in fucking Zeus if we ever do minefields. Or the fucking, um... The three with all the little mines. I can't use Beautiful. the spray paints. Do you have the spray paints on you? I don't think so. Uh, wait, let me check. No. It was <laughs> it's like really look wait. at the ground. Where the fuck are they? Uh, Peach, where are they? I'm breaking it lower. Yeah, I'll That's a big fucking F from me. <laughs> From when they're too fucking the, big. How do you use spray paints? What's the uh, keys? Put it into your chest rig, I believe, and then it's literally just your Windows button. Yeah, so it doesn't really matter where you point put it. It's it's just that you have to point straight at the floor when you do it. Point at the ground and then yeah. use your self interaction. Control just Windows. Tech. Yeah, control Windows. I can't hear the deep end. How much of a yeah, the, the, the beeping's the best the bit, because the beeping is when the, uh, <gasps> fucking... Somehow I can't use it. I don't know uh, why. We'll just talk over each other, yeah? Okay. Yeah, okay. So how's the fight? Right. <sighs> Hold on. Hello, Chai Chai1, this is 1-0. So any IC have any questions about the method of tagging the ground and what each part means of it? Oh, well, Charlie, as I said, yes, I need briefing on that, over. What's that, Roger? Yeah, I can't use it. Oh. Wait one. Like a right, so if you've got them in your bag, um, probably even your chest rig, all you need to do is look at the ground, hold down your Windows key and Control key, and then on the bottom right it should say tag with like a little picture of a black spa uh, spray can. Oh, got it. Got and then got it's it. red is don't go, blues are go. Got it. Lovek, get the fuck out of here. Stop fucking around. I will give you a behavior strike if you keep pissing me off tonight. And then that's one less for fucking later. 
And I'm not going to tell you when they've run out either. Okay, thanks, Mummy. What's going on here? I'm getting lots of beeping just in this general area. So, yeah. the faster the beeping is, the closer you are to the ID. So, sometimes if it's just been once and like slow, then you can still push forward. Yeah, it beeps quite a lot, though. Remember to walk. Everywhere. You want to be careful when you're doing this shit. Mm, this shit I'm doing. No, I'm it's talking to a fucking shit. Speedy Gonzalez over there. Over there. <laughs> I fucking love IED training. So, so go from the northeast to the southwest. Um, if, if you love it so much, why don't you get in there? I mean, I fucking can if you want me to. What do you mean, <laughs> northeast to southwest? Uh, try and go over to the left side if you can. Really? I'm going to blow up. I mean, I can see one IED there. Yeah, there's one. And there's one there, and there's one there. I push, but it's beeping. So, and then the, Peach, are you able to try and turn this into two courses um, with some uh, of these mines? I mean... Because otherwise they are just going to be following each other. <laughs> the, the route, like, they're all mines there, but you can't get one through them. I'm currently looking at the placement of all the mines. Like, you can get through them. What's, what's the distance that you've set them to? Is it, like, literally step on it, it goes bang, yeah, or is it but, within a meter? These mines are literally stepped on top of and they'll explode. They're, like, small anti-personnel mines. All oh, right. So okay. I so I don't even think they'll insta kill you if you if you set them off. Oh, the poor bastards over there are obviously going to die. <laughs> As they're getting dragged out. Um. Yeah. So you should be able to go quite close to them, but not walk on them. Like. Yeah. Basically, if it's going. Yeah. You're fucked. Like, they're only going to explode if you step on top of one of them. So. I'm gonna step on top of them. Like that. What the fuck? Yeah, like that. Much... The idea about this is that it's not going to be exact as uh, mine distances. With this, you're going to have a little bit of leniency to be able to teach yourself how to work it. Uh, so as yeah, fast as it goes, it's good. That's For as long as you don't step on it, you're all right. Oh, yeah. It's when it goes into the uh, field, the faster it goes, Delta, you do not want to be heading to that way. Yeah, uh, the idea is that the field will probably oh. be, you know, they're, they're a little less lenient, so they'll, you'll explode before stepping on them, if that makes sense. Yeah. In one one, we do not have mine detectors. We are mine detectors. Uh, no, they're mine sweepers. There's a difference. <laughs> See? <laughs> right on fucking cue. <laughs> I love the I love the irony with it, like the timing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Sorry, what? <laughs> you couldn't fucking write this shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, so. I mean, it's one one. In actual fact, I might. Have I think that might be. Oh no, that is one one. I mean, how much fucking manpower do they got? Man? Uh, enough to be able oh. to clear it out. Well, I wonder if we have to get an EOD section. They definitely have the right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Mine there. Yeah, I can see that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm fucking three feet away from you. What was that, Lovic? Can we de-arm the mines? Uh, no, that's FSG's job. I mean, you can if you want to go the 1-1 one, one route, but otherwise, no. What is it Zuko said? If our infantry encounter a minefield, we'll kill the other bastard if it's not there. <laughs> oh, that's another... That was, a, that was a little one. That was a baby one. 
That, that's the kind of explosion you'll get from from these oh, ones. You won't get the fucking, you know, these super explosions. Oh. oh, I don't even think I'm, I made it too easy. I mean, they're both following each other. The idea is meant to be for two routes. Well, it's a bit hard. I mean, <laughs> I can see a route over on that side. I don't know. I just see a lot of mines on this. I mean, I don't on that left side. Okay, fine. I'll go left. If I die. Now. Okay, this if you die, sense. then I'll I'll take the blame for it. But you know, just double check that bush is the only thing I can suggest. Oh, there is, there is a route on the left. Yeah, I can see it. I can see where the mines are. They're fucking tiny things with little red and blue bits on them. Trust in the cola. <laughs> and. And that's why you don't try to overtake each other on a fucking minefield. <laughs> that was London trying to overtake uh, fucking Lancaster uh, in a minefield. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> what are you trying to? Big brain He was trying to walk around La uh, Lancaster, who was making his own track, so he's not following Lundgren. <laughs> Deja vu. Yeah, but I hit, I hit uh, dead end. No, you haven't. No, you, I can, I can assure you. Lundgren. You can keep progressing on Lundgren. The road. Lundgren. Go back to your uh, the X behind you. Go back to that one. If you can see. No, no, too far. Go back to the one you was at. So keep going and turn right. Yeah. Go between them last two. The two, the last two X's. Stand between them. Oh, sorry. Last, uh, the uh, the second to last and the third one that you're currently standing on. Stand between them two. That just makes it so there, sense. no, there, there, where I'm, where I'm pointing at. The fuck? Use the radio, man. Right there, where I'm pointing at. I'm getting lots of readings here, man. Okay, so turn left 90 degrees. There you go. Now face, walk one X, no, don't follow Lancaster. <laughs> You're trying to. You're both doing your own tr rat of fucking tracks. Right, so go two X's to your right. Two X's. Two blue X's. You're following. You're following the blue ones. Go two blue X's to your right. And then go to the centre between the one you're standing on and the next one along. And take a left 90 degrees. One with Charlie. Um. The entire route is marked. No, no, no. Uh, Between the two, the, the, the one you're standing on and your right next one now. of Should the blue X's. A couple of minutes, uh, seconds. Oh. And now turn 90 What's degrees. There you go. And go that way. The rocket that's whenever I head to it. I'm getting lots of uh, signals here. On with Charlie, no ID. I'm going to show you that his room key to progress. Oh, Charlie. Okay. There's plenty no of room. How many do you have left? Once with Charlie, no idea what it was. It was off to my northeast, though, is all I know. You want me to move ahead? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Like oh. that There's no mines that way. Well, there is, but not in front of you for a while. I'm getting lots of signals. Uh, I mean, I can see what you're, um, what's ahead of you, and it's just debris. Trust Hello, one, one try. This is one zero. Right. Don't move any over? further left because you got one two one your left. Charlie, we'll stay and then your start heading that way that you're facing now. Was there, Roger that, do you still have people to do it? And remember, the further you aim down, the more accurate it's going to be. Charlie, say again, simple English, over. <laughs> One zero additional, you have grey walking through the red spots <laughs> now, over. One with Charlie, I'll get eyes on that and make sure he gets back here. Oh. So 45, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? You guys fuck it up. I'm starting to love So, stand up. Because otherwise you're going to be getting loads more signals when you're crouched down and laying it almost horizontally. And use it like that. So again, remember, the closer you are to the mine, the more wee-woos it's going to do for you. The further you are away from the mine, it, it will calm down more. And if you start aiming towards the ground more, it's going to be more accurate to what you are having near the head of the uh, detector rather than, you know, ahead of it.
Remember your blue markers as well. So blue markers are where you want to head because currently, from what I can see, it's a straight line and the line that you've made is going to go straight through a mine. Really? I mean, it's not your issue, it's now whoever's behind you. <laughs> So turn right. So and you, way back you can go, yeah, go back to that. There you go. And now just head direct northeast towards them bushes ahead of you. Can you I can see there's no mines in front of you, and you're also not getting very many wee woos from it. Can I go through the line, Cast as well? Uh, I'm gonna send you through Lundgren's just for fucking torture <laughs> for me tonight. Stay <laughs> <laughs> back, I see. I like that. Yeah. See. If it's not behaviour strikes, it's some other way. Go away. <laughs> Go away. No. I mean, Lundgren. Yes. Come over here. Come to the other side. There. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof. This one. So come back come back to that X ahead of you. There you go. And now come towards me. Because again, as I said, it's both using your eyes to find mines, and it's also using the Valon as well. So even though you're getting wee woos, unless it's fucking terribly close and you can physically see oh, it, zero, this is one, two, Charlie, Mr. then there's an issue. One zero, send over. One two, Charlie, uh, my field cleared. Over. One zero, Roger, you still have to be able to complete it first hand over. Uh, one, two, Charlie, roger that, got one pair left to do, over. Was there, roger that, I'm going to reset your range, I'll be moving forward momentarily, out. This is one zero. Your range now reset. You make amends over. One to Charlie. Roger that. Out. <clears throat> Just to make it a little bit more fun, Lancaster, you want to exit out the left side. Lundgren, you're exiting out of the right Hello, side. One three Charlie. This is one zero. What's your status, over? One three Charlie. Two of my guys are currently I'm about to right finish. Side. I am uh, two additional bods afterwards to do so. I believe. Over. One zero, roger that, call in when you want your range reset, over. One three, roger that, out. Right, which one of you fuckers hasn't done it yet? Slovak. Oh, fucking hell. Underwood oh, hasn't yeah. done it yet. I know I haven't done it, but that's because I've been looking after you lot, like fucking children. I did it without any right. mistake, uh, thank you very uh, much. It's going to need to be reset if you wouldn't mind. Oh, so did I. And then Fuck, Fuck you. Right. I saw a guy that got fucked up. Right, and the Yeah, that's fine. Uh, mix it up a little bit as well, so because it's me and uh, Lovek coming through, yeah, and well, I'll do be you done. Want some of the bigger booms, yeah. I mean, for me, yes. Uh, for him, probably no. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna fucking scatter a bunch. Of yeah, random fucking random treat yourself. Right, get out of the area of the um, minefield as Peach is gonna move it about. Uh, go back over to the southwest side. I'm out. 
Right. Um, Lancaster and low uh, fucking too many L's in my fucking section. Lancaster and uh, Landy. Landy. <laughs> Put your um, uh, fucking spray cans in our bags just to make it easier. Uh, either mine or uh, Lovex. I'm over by the range now, which is our southwest side. Um, otherwise, everyone just jump up onto the sandbag Hesco's and be good boys. Are you ready for this fucking flying start? Well, it's turning night time, so I'm going to turn my night vision on. Uh, get my night vision ready. Uh, that's them mine sweeping. Uh, can I get a mine sweeper? I don't have it. They took mine away. Uh, did you put thingies in my bag, Lancaster? Have yeah. One, uh, no, I don't have them. Wait. It's weird. Because you already have some. Gave you even more. Oh. Yeah, fuck it, that works. It wasn't in my thingy. So there's another fella over there. Right. Hello, 1-3, Char, this is 1-0. You finished with your Ranger? 1-3, last two guys are going through now. Over. 1-0, Roger that. Uh, did you move your Ranger? 1-3, Lovely Peach has moved our range for us. Over. 1-0, Roger that. Out. Right. Nice and easy. Uh, so... <laughs> Such a fucking loud noise from that. Uh, do, 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 do. Can anyone actually see any fucking mines? Oh no, I can. Never mind. Yeah, there's one there. Well, what's one going there. on? Why am I fucking one there. somewhere one there. in the middle of the field? One there. Uh, yes. Come over to one our there. checkpoint. One there. One there. Thank you. Why is my mine detector not going off? Turn it on. Uh, it is on. Turn it off and on again. Put the new battery. Oh, there we go. Where is this bad boy? <laughs> Fucking oof. That. I thought you were supposed to see the mines, I can't see shit. Uh, to some extent you can see small mines. <laughs> In actual fact, I'm not even marking up the, uh, the actual mine locations. One two Charlie, message over. One two Charlie, over. Wrong. One zero, send over. One two Charlie, um, is there a possibility of getting rid of these bouts of tinnitus for my minesweeper? They are making his job really hard. Over. One zero, you should go through two times of the tinnitus, and they should disappear over. One two Charlie, Roger that. Thank you. No. Charge under wood died. Really? Nah, too good for that. Where is 
that one. Oh, it's right there. Charge Charlie 1, this is 1 0, reporting how many bots there's still to go through, over. 1 with Charlie, 2 times. 1 2 Charlie, last pair oh, is good. just about to finish oh. off the range. For... Was that me? Yeah, it was you. Yeah, it was you. 1 2 Charlie, over. Yeah, shame. 1 2 Charlie, uh, 2 times guys still going through. Uh, myself being 1, over. One, zero. Yeah, I got, I got the boo boos. So there's that one there. Yeah, it's not easy, is it? I mean, I've got this far. Ah, it's there. This one zero, your range has moved to the left side of the edge. Jeez, see there. Complete your last two men over. One more Charlie, reach that out. Oh, you cheeky fucker. I've just noticed what that one is. I was fucking miles away from Is that, that one. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> I was, but they're too sensitive, that's why. Right, excuses, excuses. I mean, that's what Peter's just told me. One right there as well. You fucking kidding me? You bastard, Peach, for using these ones. Uh, I have got. Right, so there's that one. There's that one. And there's that one. Fucking. Fuck my life. Right, so to there. Oh, it's the same oh, fucking nice. one. Yeah, mine's sweeping, mate. Can you put the little flags down yet? Yeah, I've put loads of little flags down. But the fucking everyone I walk near, they're. Oh, that was one of you guys that set that one off. But yeah, everyone that I fucking walk near is one of those sensitive ones. 
just the little tiny circular dot ones, which then fucking I walk too close to it, and it triggers it. Ah, oh, diddums. Um, I am bleeding. I have lots of blood loss, but I've only got like small, minor issues. Yeah. Right. Hello, Chai Chai. You push off to the right Zero side, I push off to the left. Your final round of men going for the ranges. You are free to disconnect and proceed to briefing. All you go your way. Want to Charlie, watch that out. Want to Charlie, watch that out. What do you say? Yes. Are we free to briefing? To briefing? Uh, one for Charlie, one zero. That was my last over. One for Charlie, uh, confirm last over. As soon as you complete your final round of the range, can I run through your uh, line <laughs> and proceed with breathing? There's a beep. Once we try to get yeah. oh. Right, Lundgren, what did you say? I think it's debriefing. Roger that. Right. What did you guys hear? Can I <laughs> um, I can confirm that one did a little bit more damage. <laughs> I'm a lot of bitches. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that is. Oh god, there's a simple one. Two one zero one one three delta message over. One zero send over. One three delta, and if you want us to debrief when we are done with the course, over. One zero, when you're finished, you're to disconnect and continue your briefing outside over. Oh, there goes my heartbeat. I'll slap, slap you with a cheeky ego. Did they say disconnect? There you go. Oh, let me fucking pump myself full of some more thing. I don't know, I'm not listening. I'm too busy doing this. You should be listening. <laughs> Hello, I believe so. Uh, did you say 1-3 to be disconnected? Over. Right, there you go. Did you say disconnected or did you say disconnected? 1-0, you complete your range, then disconnect. Over. Did they discontinue? Uh, Rooms need to be discontinued. One three delta, we'll do that to hey. <laughs> Right, if you really want to, whoever wanted to, you can run through it. Huzzah. Yeah, I, I don't I want to anymore. You guys keep blowing them up. Do it, run it. Um, run it, there's still plenty of them. <laughs> no, not as in. Do it, do it. It's a weird. <laughs> okay, so we're disconnecting it now. Yeah, oh, we're fucking disconnected now, that's it. Look at him go, oh, we've gone pretty far. Look at him well, go. If we go in Doesn't have any legs to know that. Send in the next man. I'm okay, Peach. <laughs> uh, right. Look, look at him go. That's Endex, right? Yeah, yeah no everyone's done. done. Endex, 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 get the fuck off the server. Endex, Endex, Endex. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking belly flop on it. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> fucking detonated one and dragged your face for another. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, a little bit hurt though. Oh, no wonder why. Right, yeah. I'm gonna disconnect. In a bit.